Hey everyone, welcome to Rick's 135th Scale Models. My name's Rick and this is my channel. So today what I'm going to be doing is continuing with the project I've been working on, which is the taking a Tamiya 135th Scale Leopard 2A5 I built and then did the detailing, weathering, and all that, and made it up into a Bundeswehr 1999 version that was deployed into Kosovo. Now what I'm going to be doing is starting the diorama of it. Now, dioramas are pretty straightforward, but at the same time, there's a lot of things you have to think about. And we're going to kind of talk about that here briefly, and then we're going to start the project. So let's get started. So my intentions are to place the tank like this on the diorama. I'm going to have, as I said, a road running along here. And then over on this side, I'm going to have a little hillside with a slope. So I'm going to kind of pencil out what I'm going to do here with the tank kind of along this position. But the first thing I'm going to do is take my board and I'm going to paint this whole area here a light brown so that once I put on all the materials in case there's any area that anything sees through you're not going to see it. Initially I'm going to use this AV color of yellow brown or sunbrown. And this is really just an undercoat. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just to give a little bit of color. So next I'm going to take my cement patch and I'm going to create my road here. So the first stage of this is going to be taking a narrow spatula and uh, putting material down in the area you want it spread out. The biggest thing to consider here is putting down enough material to cover it, but not too much to where you have a lot of excess. It's kind of a trial and error process, but um, just take your time and slowly work through it. Once you get enough material down, you start taking a wider spatula and smoothing it out looking for the uh, thickness and uh, texture you're looking for. The biggest thing to remember with a road is in a modern day road they've got a lot of modern equipment that smooths it out really nice. If you're looking for a bumpier road or a more uh, rough road you may want to use a little bit different technique um, things like that but it's a trial and error process. What I would recommend is if you haven't done it before take an extra thing that you're not going to be using and just practice see how it dries find the right texture you're looking for and then come back and uh, work with it. Once you get the material down in the area you want and about the right thickness, the next thing I do is put a little bit of water on it uh, and then smooth that out. This is a real delicate process, but you'll definitely get a lot nicer, cleaner, smooth edge by doing this versus if you want it a lot rougher by not using the water. The next stage I did is I took a piece of styrofoam and took an X-Acto knife and cut it out to be uh, the right shape I was looking for. Thinking about the back side of the diorama is round and then the uh, taper of the slope. I glued them together and then uh, went to glue it to the diorama by uh, laying some glue out in a nice pattern so it would uh, glue firmly but not squeeze out a lot and have excess. From there I stuck it down and glued it on and uh, let it cure overnight. 
From there I kind of test fit to make sure the model would fit where I was looking for, uh, clean off all the debris, and then let it sit and dry. Okay, so I've completed the initial road installation. It has completely cured. The next stage will be weathering it, adding the uh, oily uh, spots, the uh, wear you'd see from the cars going back and forth, along with the white lines that'll be here. And then somewhere right in here, I have to double check the measurements, but there should be a center divide right through here. This is about where the tank's gonna be sitting on the vehicle. Um, this will be a dirt area with grass and uh, debris, garbage, things like that. And then you'll have a little slope here, which I have to do next. This will be covered with a mortar, plaster paris, something similar type material. Um, and then there'll be uh, some trees and that on that. So this kind of gets you an idea where I'm at at this point. Uh, this is uh, part one of the video. More to come soon. Take care, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Any questions, comments, please reach out to me. Um, anyway, take care everybody and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.